In this video we're going to talk about vectors, but before we introduce vectors, I just want to talk about Euclidean space. Now an n-dimensional Euclidean space is a space of all n tuples of real numbers and is commonly referred to as big R to the n. So here we have a tuple, which is an ordered set of numbers, usually represented in parentheses, so x1 to xn. These are all real numbers, and this is referred to as big R n, so this big R is the blackboard font which we use to represent the set of real numbers. Uh, this superscript n does not mean to the power n, it just means we have an n-dimensional Euclidean space. A uh, common example is R3. So here we have three-dimensional Euclidean space. You, you're probably used to this by now. So we have x, y, and z axes. So x and y axes typically represented as being in the horizontal plane and z pointing vertically upwards. And a point in our three-dimensional Euclidean space is represented by the three tuple x, y, and z, where these are all real numbers and these re represent the sign difference distance along each axis from the origin where, we, where the axes cross. Now, a vector uh, in Euclidean space is an object that has length and direction. Uh, a handy way to think about this is the displacement from one point to another. So here we have two points, A and B. Now, the displacement in space from A to B is a vector AB, and this can be represented as an over right arrow above the two points A and B. So this means the vector starts at A and ends up at B. The start point is known as a tail of the vector, and the end point, with, represented by this arrowhead here, is known as the head of the vector. Now, more typically, when vectors are expressed in mathematics, we use a bold character when we're typesetting it, uh, or we can underline it, which is more typical when we're uh, writing it by hand. And also, equally valid, is a little over right arrow. I tend to favour the bold uh, face when typeset. So a vector can be represented as a column matrix. Now, we could also represent it as a row matrix, but in my, in my notes, I typically use column matrix just to differentiate or distinguish a vector from um, an n-tuple. Okay, so here we have the vector A. So we have three, uh, three values. Uh, these are real numbers, A1, A2, A3, and these represent the distance along the x, y, and z axis from the tail of the vector to the head. Now a certain type of uh, special type of vector is a position vector and a position vector has its tail at the origin of our space and its head at some point P. And this is known as a position vector because the vector uh, P uh, is similar to the, to the coordinates. So uh, a point with coordinates X, Y and Z has a position vector with the values X, Y and Z. Okay, so now I'm going to look at some basic arithmetic operations. So if we have two vectors A and B, uh, we say that these are equal if the corresponding elements, so if the ith element of A is equal to the ith element of B for all elements within our vectors. Now geometrically speaking, if uh, two vectors are equal, they'll have the same length and direction. So here we've got a set of four vectors. A and B are pointing in the same direction and they have the same length. So we can actually say A is equal to B. Uh, notice it doesn't matter where A and B exist within our space. It's just whether they have the same length and the same direction. Vector C has the same length as A, but as you can see it's pointing in the opposite direction, so this is not equal to A. And vector D uh, is pointing in the same direction as A and B, but it uh, has a different length. Okay, So in this case, only A and B are equal to each other. Vector addition, uh, very simple, and this is essentially the same as matrix addition, where we simply add the corresponding elements. So if you have two vectors, A and B, given by these values, so A plus B is quite simply, we just add the corresponding values. Okay, um, geometrically speaking, what this means, well, if we have a vector A and we add the vector B, this is essentially placing the tail of B at the head of A, and the addition of A and B uh, is a vector with the tail at the the tail of the vector is at the tail of A, and the head of the vector is at the head of B. Okay. Now, because addition of two numbers is commutative, so is the um, addition of two vectors. 
Okay, so we could have we could have added B uh, A onto B. So we start with B, and then we add on A. We get to the same end point. So this just means A plus B is equivalent to B plus A. Now vector multiplication by a scalar, again this is the same as if we were dealing with matrices, so if you've got a scalar k, k multiplied by the vector a, is we simply multiply each element in a by that scalar k. So for our vector um, a equals 1, 2, 3, and let's say we have a scalar of 2, 2 times the vector a, we just simply multiply all the elements in a by 2. Now geometrically speaking, um, this has the effect of scaling. A vector so if we have a vector a for example here and we multiply it by 2 we get a vector but points in the same direction as a but has double magnitude of a uh, I should say double the length we'll get on to magnitude in a minute if I multiply a by a negative number it has the effect of reversing the direction so here we have a or uh, multiplied by minus 1 so the uh, the vector minus a has the same length as a but just points in the opposite direction. So the vector magnitude, uh, this is essentially the length of the vector and we denote it by placing the vector between two vertical bars and it's calculated using an extension of Pythagoras' theorem. So here we see we have the each element of a is squared Add, all up, um, add them all up and then we square root them. So if we had two dimensional space, this would essentially be Pythagoras' theorem. So for our vector a with elements one, two, and three, the magnitude of a is the square root of one squared plus two squared plus three squared. Okay, and we evaluate that, we can see the magnitude is square root of 14. So this is the length of that vector a. A unit vector, is a vector that has a magnitude of 1. Um, we can convert any vector uh, to a unit vector which, which points in the same direction but has a magnitude of 1 by dividing through by its magnitude. So if we take our vector a again, the unit vector, uh, I should mention that we represent unit vectors with a little chevron or known as a hat over the um, over the vector name. Okay, so the in the previous slide we saw that the magnitude of this vector was root 14 so if we divide vector a by root 14 we get this vector here and you can confirm that this is a unit vector by calculating its magnitude